well, since Mark Anthony Quest is so butthurt about me smoking in my videos, I guess I'll just have to smoke more often. I mean, I'm going to dedicate this whole video to just pissing off everybody. Well, not everybody, not my positive viewers that have something nice to say, and are not necessarily devoted fans, but just normal people who realize that I'm just, you know, giving you the heads up. I give you news, I give you my opinions, and I give you an outlook. And you can take it as you want to. Uh, but anyway, so, what I want to talk about here is essentially, uh, a while back, a few months ago, I made this video about black holes and about how with enough heat you could create a black hole and that caused a massive rustled of all jimmies of all kind that just stirred up a whole new level of shit crazy because I don't even know no one even debunked whether or not it could be possible they just were upset about me talking about physics so I'm gonna talk about it again uh, the theory I want to talk about here is how time travel is possible. At first, I was a disbeliever in time travel. I was very skeptical of it. But I had an epiphany. If electrons can be in, the, in different places at the same time, why can't electrons be in different times in the same place? Do you get what I'm saying here? If electrons can be omnipresent, that's not really the word because they're not everywhere at the same time but they are in multiple places at the same time well then it would stand to reason that through electrons you could indeed time travel because electrons could go backward or forward uh, and exist simultaneously in two different separate times at the same time you gotta separate it into time in the sense of they are simultaneously in action and time in the sense of how we understand time as before and after. So through electrons, time travel could indeed be possible. Now the only question here is, could we muster up a technology that could manipulate enough electrons at one time to make time travel feasible? Could we say vibrate all the electrons in our body at enough speed to make us be in multiple places at once to a exemplify time travel, to emulate time travel or at least multiple space dimensional travel. I believe so. I, I believe more so it would be practical to be in multiple dimensions at once and multiple places at once, not so much go back to say 1988 and cheat the stock, mar stock market. But I, th I do think it's plausible. I do think it's plausible that you could use this electron hypothesis to travel back in time. Not like in the movies, but like if you were to vibrate my electrons right now, I could be sitting here talking to you while simultaneously being in 1988 fucking the stock market over. Trolling you in the past, in your present, and in the future. So, and you know, the Hadron Collider challenged all of this. That's what the Hadron Collider was about. Uh, not about that specifically, but all of that and more. Electrons play an integral part in how we think of the space-time continuum. Uh, everything around physics revolves around electrons as the building blocks. So, if we can determine that electrons can indeed do that on a microscopic scale, then it's only a matter of time before we figure out if they can do it on a macro scale. And if they can do it on a macro scale, then the next logical step is to master it and to actually do it. Now, what kind of implications would this have for us if we could manipulate the space-time continuum and exist in multiple places at once? I'm not completely sure. I do not know how that would affect your consciousness to be in multiple places at once. I do not know how it would affect other people's consciousness. but I could presume that you would be relatively sane throughout the ordeal, that you would just be self-aware of it, and that other people would not. But that's why science has to do what it does. That's why experimentation comes into place. You know, a lot of this came to me in a dream where I was doing something similar to this, trying myself to manipulate my electrons to go back in time. And people were, you know, saying, oh, you're playing God. That's 
crazy, you know, it, it, it's so dangerous what you're doing if anyone else were to discover this uh, secret, and that's the reason to do it. You know, there's a lot of good and a lot of bad that can come from it, but that's not what science is about. Science is above, it's beyond good and evil. Just as Nietzsche said, there are approaches to life that are good and evil. Good and evil are real things. But the pursuit of power, and the pursuit of understanding power, and the pursuit of understanding that absolute, the singularity, is beyond good and evil. And when you understand that, you are one step closer to becoming the Ubermensch. The Ubermensch is able to do that, but the Alpha Man, the Hyper Man, is un understands it. And in order to become the Ubermensch, first you have to think like an Ubermensch. So, that's the video I want to get out right now, just to troll all of you, because I know, as God is my witness, you're going to see this, and oh my God, your jimmies are going to get so rustled, because I'm talking about physics, and while you have nothing to debunk what I say, nothing, and you offer nothing to the table, it's not like you're going to counter my argument, because go ahead, you know, prove me wrong, I'm not... I'm not set on my beliefs. If you can say, no, that's not how it works, hey, fine by me. That just means that we don't have to worry about some psychopath using time travel to fuck up the world. So, you know, you go ahead and make a counter video or a counter post or whatever, but I don't think you will because that's not what you're about. See, you don't want to actually debate the issues. You don't want to actually challenge what I say. You just think you're going to uh, attack my character and I'm somehow going to get my feelings hurt. I've dealt with a lot worse than you. I've been on the internet for a very long time. I've seen a lot of shit I probably shouldn't have. A lot of raunchy shit. And I've seen the very pinnacle of human evil. And there's nothing you are capable of that I al already haven't experienced 10,000 times over. That's why I fight against moderators, because it doesn't get any worse than them. And that's why you kiss their ass, because you wish you were that evil. You are a smaller evil, a more petty and disgusting evil. You are like a maggot, crawling on your stomach, you know, trying to get the scrounges that the, the fucking bigger insects that our moderators shit out, and you eat it up. But you are not capable of the same evil as moderators, nor are you capable of even understanding it. That's the difference. Those moderators are the alpha sociopaths, and you are the beta sociopaths. I don't want to be a sociopath. That's why I do what I do, to inform people and to awaken something in them. To, to incite some kind of deep feeling that we do not have to put up with this shit, and we have other choices. So, take what you want out of this video, get something good out of it, get something bad out of it. I don't care. If I make you feel bad, good. If I make you feel good, good. I want the bad people to feel bad and the good people to feel good. So, I'm pretty sure that will happen just like that. Because the sort of people that defend me, or at least my right to speak, even if they don't agree with me, deserve to feel good for my videos, and the rest of you deserve to burn in hell. So, see you later.